Excuse me, sir. I really hope that those weren't your pet spiders. Ooh, you have a fancy mask and uh, pierced nipples. What's up guys and welcome back to Conan Exiles and in today's episode we are going to take a look at the religion system. You guys might remember back when I started off my character I had the choice between four gods. I could go with Yogg, Set, Mitra, or Krom. And I went with Krom because it sounded like it had, you know, a lot of advantages to it. I didn't need to be praying to a god all of the time. And in a survival game I wanted to spend a lot more time killing stuff and surviving rather than praying, but it turns out Krom is the only god that, well, it's practically like not practicing any religion at all, I get no benefits. Now unknowingly to me, that's actually the best option that I could have chosen, because if you go with one of the three other gods, you're forced to invest 50 skill points into that branch of the skill tree, and that's 50 points that you can spend on a lot of other things, if you want to learn any other religion after that, it's going to cost you another 50 points. But where I worship Krom, I'm a little bit lucky, I haven't invested those points, I can spend them in learning other things, and there's a lot of confusion around the game, people aren't sure if you can practice other religions, if you can change your religion, or have multiple religions at the same time. It turns out you can learn all three at the same time, and you could do that by teachers. So I'm going to show you guys the map there now, and this is where we're going to be going. There are three teachers, one for each god throughout the map. If you find them and talk to them, they will teach you the ways of their religion skill point free. So we get to keep all of our skill points, invest them into other things, and we get to practice all three religions. You guys may have noticed in that long-winded intro that we're actually outside of the Thrall City the Ban and I ended the last episode in, and the reason for that is because I, I built a new base here. Like I said, I'm incredibly proud of it, I think it is really cool, I will show you guys around, but right now I want to make sure that we can actually find all three of these people first or else I'm going to end up changing the whole video pretty much. Between us and those teachers we have rhinos and hyenas and ostriches and uh, Inside out faced praying mantises. I don't think you guys have seen one of those yet. Maybe I can go find one and pick a fight. Excuse me, miss. Can I take a look at your disgusting inside out face? That would be really appreciated. Yeah, come on over here. I don't know if they're really strong. They might do a lot of damage, but they've never actually hit me. I just know that they don't have a lot of health. Uh, and I can uh, usually kill them. There we go. Down. Down, girl. Take you. You see what I mean? They're like. I don't even know how to describe them. I'm curious what they give you. Bone, hide, 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 hide. Well then, that's actually kind of impressive. I might try to farm these guys a little bit more. That's a, a lot of hide. I'm not gonna farm them right now though. So this should be our first destination. I think it's the set teacher should be up there in that temple. Hardly inconspicuous, just uh, a little difficult to, oh, oh, hi, hi rock donkeys, no. Like I said, I could probably fight them, I just really have no need to right now. I hope that the NPC teachers are peaceful. Okay, well we got a spider. I say one, but there's definitely more than one, right? There's always more than one spider. There we go, there's another one. Okay, so yeah, they like to hide in the bushes, and as soon as you trip one off, then they flock, and their crippling poison is a pain in the ass to deal with. Luckily, if you're far enough away, you can usually just kind of side strafe and they miss. So, any... Okay, yep, there's more. Hello? Where did the one upstairs go? Ow, 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 okay. <laughs> you know what, you you look like the kind of spider that wants to get chopped into little tiny bits, right? You bleed blue. One more down. Like I said, there's never just one spider. Go away, not today, stupid stairway spiders. Okay, actually I should be chopping these guys up because they give you a lot of valuable resources. Feral flesh doesn't really mean anything, but uh, the ichor I can use to make candles and the spider web I can use to make silk, I believe, right? Oh my God, just stop. I just want to learn a religion, man. Last call for any eight-legged freaks that want a piece of me. No, anybody? Excuse me, sir, I really hope that those weren't your pet spiders. Ooh, you have a fancy mask and uh, pierced nipples. Listen, we can talk, but if I need to get my nipples pierced and chained together no for this religion, sense. I'm out. Lest I blast your feeble skin from your bones. Rude. I am Mechamosis of the Black Ring. In another place in time, I would command your obeisance. But for now, I would speak of matters that are of mutual interest. Okay. You have the look of the lost stranger. Abandoned, exiled, and adrift in purpose. Fool. You need to forge a purpose for yourself in this place. These bracelets we wear sap at our will. 
suppress our true powers. They are designed to make us meek and pliable. Do not allow your thoughts to be trapped. Resist it. Okay, well, I'm gonna learn this emote, apparently. That's a new thing. And then learn the religion? Do not expect me to be here forever. I don't need you anymore. Okay, we got an emote. Uh, what's the emote button again? Oh, there we go. Okay, buy set. So, oh, okay, that's kind of cool. We do look a little, uh. I mean, I don't really see that as, oh, hi. Okay, you look like you want to get, uh, chopped up. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. I can't equip my weapon. Stop river dancing. We're going to get eaten by a spider. So, fun fact, if you use your arms for the new emotes, you won't be using them for anything else until you log back into the game. God, I learned that the hard way. I almost got eaten by a spider, but we got out. We're now further east with uh, a lot of rock donkeys, which aren't really an issue. You know, I have options with them. I can fight them. I can run from them. They give up pretty easily. The elephants, on the other hand, they're spiteful. You don't have any options with them because you can't kill them and they'll chase you down until the ends of the earth. So there's one on my left, which I'm hopefully going to manage not to aggro. Okay, I'm just waiting to hear giant stomping behind me. Oh, okay, there's another one in front of me. Good to know. We got uh, one, two over there. Yeah, yeah, all right. Guess what's behind me? It's an elephant and a bunch of rock donkeys and an ostrich and the whole zoo. God, I got no stamina left. I need a cliff. Here we go. Can I just stand like over here? If you stand still, your stamina just shoots back up. That's it. You can't figure it out, you stupid pachyderm. No, don't figure it out and prove me wrong. Crap, okay. <laughs> Running. Okay, yeah, he gave up. Thank God. Like five minutes later. The ostrich, the rock donkeys, they gave up long ago. I just realized I didn't tell you guys where we're going next. We are going to the Mitra teacher, who is apparently the queen of pirates. And I would imagine that she's probably gonna be near a giant pirate ship. Very cool ship, but I kind of screwed up. Believe it or not, she is supposed to be over on that peak right there. I'm on the wrong side of the river and there's no other way across than the deck of the ship. So, shields up. And fingers crossed that I don't get shot down, right? Usually there's a lot of pirates around here. So, I don't want to waste my stamina crossing this either. So, I'm going to rest up here. And then we're just going to start tippy-toeing. I mean, the guards might not even really pay any attention to me. I might be a little bit stealthy. Oh, wait. I think they saw me. Oh, that's why they saw me. Sorry, guys. I brought a friend. Ow, ow. That's my ass. I have a nice ass. You shouldn't be doing that. Hopefully, the rock donkeys... Uh, uh, oh, okay. Excuse me, floating guards. I don't see her. She's supposed to be right there on that cliff, and she isn't. I really hope that it isn't bugged like 99% of this game. Okay, there's a bunch of spiders. Oh! She's dead. That's just great. I'm gonna guess you guys did this, huh? So, maybe we can clear them out and wait for her to respawn. I mean, do we really have any other option at this point? This is never just one spider. It's just a, oh, it's just a rule. All right, here we go. So she's back up. <laughs> and uh, there's only one spider doesn't seem really interested in me, right? Do you see me? Of course you see me. Why wouldn't you see me? <laughs> I'm not gonna have you eat me while the cutscene is playing out and I'm talking, so go away. All right, are we good? Like I said, I don't wanna... Yeah, we're good, all right. Jamila, the pirate Watch queen. Shadow, Cully. You've not the saltwater stagger of the regular fools who come seeking the blade of the butcher of Quarzeen. So we'll talk, if you keep your distance. Okay, I can keep my distance. Hmm. Come to gawk at the captain who lost her ship and her crew. Twice the captain, and twice the exile now, thanks to those mutinous dogs. I put the salt back in their blood, and this is how they pay me? <laughs> Treacherous bastards. The Black Hand only exists because of me! I don't care. I want you to teach me how to salute. Thank you. And then I want you to teach me how to practice the religion of Mitra, and then I don't want to speak to you anymore. Go die to a spider. Now we can practice Mitra and Set, and the last one should be Yogg. So next stop, the teacher of Yogg. He has to be around here somewhere. I have been looking for like 15 minutes, and as soon as I say that, he's right here. Okay. <laughs> They're a little bit harder to find sometimes, because there's not a whole lot of information for this game out there right now. What is he doing? He just kind of, He's not like the other ones. He's just kind of wandering around with his fists up. New New the Cannibal! What an unfortunate last name, Nunu. You get a pretty tree, but I'm starting to think you might be crazy. Stay your hand, stranger. 
Come, look into the pit. The Lord of Empty Abodes awaits therein. I am his shaman, Nuno. Your coming was revealed to me in the whispering of a bat's wings. Have the bat's wings been talking about me behind my back again? I swear to God. My heart has a question. Do you know the Lord of Empty Abodes? He knows you, child, through the flesh of your kind. He hungers to know more. All flesh is knowledge. Every savory thought. Bring us knowledge of others. Yog is generous. Not gonna lie, I think you've been eating too many people, but you're gonna teach me how to cheer and how flesh. to religion. The dark rage. And then I'm... The blood cage. I'll be over here. Are we good? We have Mitra, we have Set, and we have Yogg. There you go, all three religions at once in Conan Exile. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head home, hopefully set up each of these temples, and then we'll see exactly what it means to be practicing these religions. Before I show you guys my base, I want to point out one small issue that you might encounter if you do this yourself. There is a lot of advantages. You get to keep 150 skill points rather than spending them on religion. You can use those on other things. But when the developers update the game and they include new things in the skill tree, what they do is reset everybody's skill points. They blank everything that everybody has learned and give you back your skill points. And that's great because then you get the skill points back to learn the new things that they've included in the game, but they don't have something in place to help you keep the religion. So the game updated right as I got back to my base, forgot everything that we had learned, and I had to go back and learn it all over again. And that might be the case every time they update the game. I don't know. I figured I should warn you guys, but in my opinion, it's still well worth it. And welcome home. This is my new base. It's in the process of being built, but I'll show you guys it anyway. Like I said, we built pretty much inside the Thrall City. There's a gate there. There's another gate on the other side of that wall. And there's Thralls spawning all over the place. And uh, you can't really build anywhere else. Like, those foundations are pretty much the limit. If you try to build any further out, it says invalid build zone. So, I don't think they necessarily want people to build here. But I love it because... It's really, really difficult to raid. I mean, these are second level stone walls and a stone gate and stuff like that. Once I have archer thralls put onto the kind of walkways there, people are gonna have to absorb a ton of arrows and spend a lot of time trying to get through my door just to get to my fortress. And then they gotta break into the fortress. So the entire base is built on top of this giant mesa, and there's really no other way to get up here other than my stairs. You can't even build stairs yourself to get up here because there's a build limit around my base, and there's also a build limit in this area. Like, I wasn't able to build my base down there near the water or something like that. I would have done that if I had the option, but this entire area is a no-build zone because of the Thrall City, so... I'm relatively alone here. The base itself, it's not quite finished. I mean, it's not gonna have this sunroof. I'm gonna have a really cool balcony that we can sit on and stuff like that. I've been doing a whole bunch of crafting and things. I have thralls, but for some reason they're invisible right now. So if I activate my forge, then they pop up. But I'm gonna enslave a few more thralls and then I'll show you guys all that in another episode. Right now, I wanna stick to the religion. And I've actually gone and built a temple to each of the gods, which are really cool. This one, Hands down, my favorite. This is the Mitra one, and you would think, how are we going to get up there? There's no stairs, but if you worship Mitra, then, you know, you can uh, walk on air. I don't know why this works. It's a complete bug. Like, it doesn't make any sense, but it's just so fitting that I'm worshiping this Jesus-like character, <laughs> and I can literally walk on air up to the temple. Just amazing. So the way that the religion works, so I've learned, is you can build these weapons. Each of one of them has a different weapon. You build it. When you kill another person, you can hit them with the weapon. Uh, for Mitra, you get their soul. For uh, Set, you get their heart. For Yog, you get their meat. And then if you actually put it into the temple, you can use it to build things and worship. You can upgrade. There's just a, a whole skill tree within the religion to unlock some really cool stuff. So yeah, this is the... <laughs> weirdly holy Mitra one and then the set one I built up here. You can build them all in one base, but there is a bit of a snafu. Apparently the gods get a little jealous. So if you put them right next to each other, then you won't get any of the benefits. They don't like to be built right next to each other. So I've spread them out pretty far. Um, you can build antidotes for poison from set. So that's been really useful. You can even upgrade them. 
I think there's two more upgrades to the temple themselves, and then that's when you get into the point of being able to summon an avatar and stuff like that, which I'm hoping to do at some point. I mean, no promises, but it's really my end goal for this kind of thing. And then we have the Yogg Temple. And these work very similar to every crafting thing. So you guys will see when I go into it, I could put thralls in here. So if we find a Yogg priest, I can bring them back here, put them into the temple, and they'll actually, like, I guess, kneel or pray or dance around the temple. And they'll make it so that the stuff that I craft in here goes faster and my religion is gained faster, I guess. I don't really know. It's my first time, but I'm still really proud of this. And you guys can see I still have all this room to build up here. I kind of want to litter this with um, Wheels of Pain. I have a couple of little ones here. The big ones cost a whole lot to build. A little bit more challenging than I would have expected, but I would love to have like two rows of wheels here. So it just looks like this kind of enslavement camp for them to be built out of the fortress. And I might even have, yeah, I have a bunch of people crafting right now. I have a Blacksmith 2, Archer 3, a uh, Set Priest. Okay, you know what? Let's get the Set Priest and uh, see what happens if I put him in the Set Temple. I completely forgot that I had one. <laughs> it's really easy for me to get Thralls now because I just go down in the city, wander around, and they, they come to me. And then anybody that I don't want to enslave, I end up killing and then using their body parts in my religion. It's a very twisted game. I, I won't deny it, but I absolutely love it. It's so cool. So if we put the priest in here. Yeah. And then, oh, you don't want to do that, guy. Remember, if you do this, then you're not going to be able to use your arms for anything else. Like we river dancing for the rest of the time. We already learned that this episode. So, oh, look, he even comes with the pierced nipples and everything. La dee da. I kind of want to see what happens if I upgrade my altar because I haven't done any of that. So you need 30 manifestations of zeal and you get that from crafting any of this stuff because I've crafted 70 antidotes. I get 70 manifestations. It's just a way of building your religion, I guess. The more faith you have, the more things you craft with this god, the more stuff you get out of it. I also need 250 bricks, shaped wood, and reinforcements. Okay. Oh, that's a pretty cool view of the base. I might also build a tower. I'm not totally sure where. I don't think I want to make any of those towers super tall, but I want to build at least one tower that, I guess, tries to reach the build limit. I don't really know if there is a build limit. At the very least, I want to be able to look out over a large part of the world. So, let me see you here. We got our blacksmith, 250 I have, right? And 50? And then in here, we should have brick, hopefully. There we go. Yeah, you see? My smelter pops out of nowhere. So, 250 of you, and then shaped wood. I definitely have 60 of in the carpenter's bench. I'll probably spend some time running over all of the crafting another time. I know I haven't shown you guys much of any of this, but there isn't a whole lot to understand about it. Like, you have... Forges, you put a smelter there, and you can make iron ingots and bricks. You can use those iron ingots and bricks in the blacksmith to make weapons and steel stuff. You can use your carpenter's bench to shape wood and build bows. You can use your armorer's bench and uh, to make armor, and then there's tanneries and stuff like that. Each of them has their own individual thrall. I think I have a blacksmith over here. Yeah, there he is. So I, I got lots of thralls and stuff like that. I just need to work on organizing, and the game is super bugged. Like, the river dancing thing was only a very small taste of what I've done so far. Trust me, I could make an entire 20 minute video on all the bugs that I've encountered in this game, but it's early access and uh, I'm still really enjoying it. So if I put all of this stuff in there, uh, can I upgrade? There we go, okay. I think that's just gonna take a while. I'm just admiring the fact that they add dirt and leg hair to the model, not staring at his ass. I'm pretty sure there are different levels of priests as well. Like right now we have a set priest. I think that's probably the lowest. I think you get arch priests and high priests maybe. And I think there might even be a fourth level where they're actually named thralls. So you can find like an armorer that isn't just armorer thrall three. They'll have a name. They'll be like, I don't know, um, dibbly whack the, the hammer smith or something like that. But either way, I think it's magic time. Ooh. You have gained a level. Uh, where did my priest go? Okay, no, there he is. He was hiding from me. Okay, cool. So it got uh, a little bit bigger. I like that. Can I build new things? I can build new things. I can build his armor. Okay, we need human hearts, which I don't have any of, and plant fiber. Why do I need a human heart to build a bra? Well, lucky for us, I have a human heart dispensary right next door, so usually 
There are people right over here. Oh, that's a lot of people. Oh, some of them have spotted me. Okay. I'm just gonna slowly back up and let them come to me, I think. Hello. Ooh, a level three fighter. I don't think I have a level three fighter. I kind of want to tame you. Is that possible? Or enslave you? I keep saying tame because of our... Oh my god, just just die. I I'm just hack and slash at this point. I don't care about taking damage. They're not gonna kill me. Just die. I want your heart. There you go. You see, we're gonna be friends. <laughs> Level three thralls are awesome. They have heavy armor. Th this one has a shield and heavy armor, I believe. Super good. Okay, I'm gonna put him on the small wheel, I think, because I have space there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we can turn you on. So he is eating gruel as we speak. Now, back to gathering hearts. Excuse me, gentlemen. I would really appreciate it if you would come over here and give me your heart. <laughs> And I don't mean that in a Valentine's Day kind of way. Oh, I'm out of arrows. That's not good. Well, I guess you're just gonna be the one to give me my hearts if that's the case. I'm not going all the way over there and killing that archer. We're going toe to toe and you lose. Okay, so now I get my set dagger and I poke your butt and it gives me hide. <laughs> human hide, got a lot of that and human flesh and some hearts, multiple hearts. I'm pretty sure you're only supposed to get one heart per human, but the server is ramped up in crafting so, uh, I would imagine that's why we're getting like four or five. Little bit of plant fiber and some human hearts, mix them together and you get, uh, a white bra. I'm not totally sure how that works, I mean technically a choker, whatever, you know what, I'll take it. I've been, uh, running around the wasteland with very minimal support, as you can see. It's, it's not very helpful, so, let's see if this is gonna be any better. That's right, we're just gonna praise Set for his lifting and pushing, or whatever they do. There we go, thank you. And then if we pop that on, whoa, whoa, okay. <laughs> that is probably, what is the armor on that? Is this like typical female armor in video games? How does this work? Durability 120, high grade. Durability 93.5, low grade. Video games, man. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Conan the Exiles, guys, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You know, this video was very different to most videos I do, or most videos in the series, honestly. I did collaborative stuff with Ban. I'd never done collaborative stuff before. You guys really enjoyed it. I did base building episodes. I don't normally do that kind of thing. This video was, you know, partially funny moments, but also partially like informative, I guess you could say, because I've been learning a lot about the game in my spare time. It's really rare for me to want to play a game that I record for YouTube in my spare time as well. But I'm loving Conan Exiles. There's so much to do in this game. I'm having a lot of fun with it. So thank you guys so much for supporting the series and letting me play something that I love pretty much. And you can expect a lot more Conan Exiles to come. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Did you